Hello there, viewers. This is your host, Ricky Klein, the Cassette Master. And today I will present to you a very interesting solid state recording device. I hope you enjoy this feature presentation recorded on the 1st of May, 2018. Here pictured is a very interesting device from the year 1990. This is the Ziacom model DVR1 digital voice recorder. This unit I believe is very rare and I am guessing that there probably weren't many of them made because I can find absolutely zero aside from technically an appearance this machine made in a, in a YouTube video I did years ago I can find absolutely zero information about this device online now, here's the part where you guys can get your pitchforks and ram them into my flesh. The documentation that came with this unit, including the schematic, I have lost. I don't know where it is. I got this device back in 2009 at a ham fest. And um, so I, I don't know where the, uh, the papers went for it. So I apologize for committing that heinous crime, that heinous act that many people out there um, probably will look dimly at me for. But, this device I remember, it was from 1990 I believe, and it's a very interesting American made device that was intended for use by ham radio operators the idea was that the operator could record a standardized greeting, you know, with the call sign and so forth, and then simply play it back. You can see on the back here is DCM. It is a tip positive connector, and the center pin has to be ridiculously thick. This is only one of two connectors I've been able to come across that is this size. Three if you count this being a duplicate with another one that I have. External speaker out. Microphone out to plug into the radio itself. Mic in to hook up to a special, I believe, to push to talk mic, which I do not have because unfortunately for some out there I am not a ham radio operator. Here are the front controls of the Ziacom DVR-1. Clear mode for ready and record. Chan for channel. And start stop. Okay. Now, on the inside there was a plug provided where I could hook into the microphone input because I didn't have the special connector. Hooked up is a Sony dynamic microphone, the Sony F96, which is a very good quality, well-made, metal-cased microphone. Put it into record mode. Now you'll notice it's a voice-activated system. I will press start and then the, re the ready light, which will glow red once it's actually recording, Really, it seems re ready and record should be the other way around. That could be a mistake on the layout of this because um, it would make more sense that. Anyway, mode, whenever it says record, it's going to be recording. But anyway, it should voice activated so the red light should come on whenever I start speaking. I am making a recording into the Ziacom DVR1. I don't remember the precise times that this can record for, 
but it's not very long. I think it might be 40 seconds. It might be 44 seconds. I don't really remember for sure because unfortunately the documentation I don't know where it ended up. And um, anyway, but I know there's two. Yeah, you know, see, it just stopped. So it reached the time limit. I guess the video could could tell you. So this device here has two jumpers on the inside. When the jumpers were um, now they were actual physical jumpers. They weren't ones you could just you know disconnect and put back. They were little actual jumpers that you could cut. And if you wanted it back, you'd have to resolder. Uh, the two jumpers in place, you'd have a shorter recording time, but a little bit better sound quality. And with the jumpers cut, you had longer recording time and a little bit worse sound quality. And I have since cut the jumpers to get longer recording time. But here is a playback. I am making a recording into the Viacom DVR-1. I don't remember the precise times that this can record for, but it's not very long. I think it might be 40 seconds. It might be 44 seconds. I don't really remember for sure. Because unfortunately, the documentation, I don't know where it ends up. And um, anyway, but I know. And you can hear it cut off right then. If you could hear carefully, there's actually a relay clicking sound when it cut off. Now, when I play another track, notice. Record on track two. This is a re oh. This is a re this is a hello hello hello. It's not doing anything. Let's try pressing clear. Okay, now that we pressed clear, it counted that track as being clear and ready to record on. So um, let's uh, record on this track now. Now that we pressed clear, it counted that track as being clear and ready to re Okay, now that we pressed clear, it counted that track as being clear and ready to re There is a little bit of a problem with the Zycom. You notice that? Okay. The rest of that recording was kind of covered across some of the other tracks. Let's, uh, record on this track now. Into the Zycom DVR-1. I don't remember. Hello? Is this going to work? Hello? Is this going to work? Okay. Let's uh, record on this track now. Into the Zycom. Okay, now that we pressed clear, they counted that track as being clear. Hello? Is this going to work? Oh. This is a recording on the Zycom DVR1 testing 1 to 3. This is a recording on the Zycom DVR1 testing 1 to 3. Let's uh, record on this track now. Into. If I'm making a long recording on another track, we'll see if that kind of covers up some of the stuff on the other tracks. Um, hello, hello, testing. This is the Zycom. Um, anyway, this is a very interesting device, and um, I'm um, guessing that it's like New Mexico made because the, uh, New, the New Mexican sun there, it already stopped, so. If I'm making a long recording, on another track, we'll see if that kind of covers up some of the stuff on the other tracks. Um, hello, hello, testing. This is the Zycom. Um, anyway, this is a very interesting device, and um, I'm um, guessing that it's like a New Mexico made because the covers up some of the stuff on the other. See. Up some of the stuff on the other track. If you have recordings on the other tracks higher than the track you're recording on and you make a long recording, there's a possibility of it recording over uh, record that. Record on this track now. Into, if I make a long recording. It's a very interesting device. This does contain a 7805 5 volt regulator, so the voltage range is pretty good for the input. But if you have the voltage coming in too close to 5 volts, you'll have the downside of having a long, I mean a loud hum sound from Ripple.
because I think that the voltage difference is too uh, low and is and uh, cannot be regulated whenever the input voltage is too close. So here's the inside of the Zycom DVR1, uh, early 1990s circuitry, all through hole except surface mount on the daughter board in there. That's actually where the um, actual recording takes place random access memory um, on that chip well, I'm sure it has more than that. I'm sure it's the random access memory processor you know all this stuff to do a digital audio recorder you can see on the other side of that board is actually an amplifier chip and all the other chips on here is just regular old logic so um anyway it's very interesting this old device there's a little relay in there very interesting this old recorder it's um you know made at a time when if a user wanted to record themselves digitally they could probably do it on a computer or like a really really old computer if it had sound for that matter but probably most people at that time wouldn't just be able to record themselves digitally this is a very interesting um, machine. Notice the circuit board is, doesn't have any of that green coating on it. It's just the bare traces. It's just an incredible device. The old Zycom. Oh, never mind. Guess what? I actually did solder the jumpers back. It's in the higher quality shorter recording time mode I had forgotten that I had done that you can see I jumped these two connections here and if you look under here you can see where the two original jumpers were that are clipped As a matter of fact they provided two jumpers so you could just undo one of them I'm trying to see if that's originally in parallel or not but anyway, it's back. It's back to the shorter recording time but higher recording quality. So that's the Zycom DVR1. Um, a video that, anyway, I, I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed the presentation of this old, early ish digital recording. Not really early in a sense. Because digital recording had already existed for a long time, obviously, but a standalone digital recording device, though, I think it's pretty early for some, a standalone digital recording machine. So, anyway, it's a very interesting machine. The Zycom DVR1. Well, viewers, I hope you enjoyed this presentation of the Zycom DVR-1. This is your host speaking on Zycom video. Wishing you farewell enjoy, and hope you enjoyed the presentation of this very interesting digital voice recorder. Any moment my voice will stop. I hope you enjoyed it. May the 1st, 2018.